I think the reality is that, um, again, if you look at the statistics, it's we've, we've just had an inflection point um, after three or four years of, of a plateauing. And to achieve that continued um, kind of uh, growth curve, if you like, in terms of women on boards, we've got to carry on giving it the, the attention. And um, you know, I think new agendas have come forward as well. So I think everybody generally accepts that the executive pipeline is the real root uh, root issue, and that the focus and the attention now needs to go on building that and um, creating, yes, more momentum in the non-executive director take-up um, levels, but really driving the executive levels of, um, of women in companies and the sort of talent pipeline. In order to drive change and create more diversity means we have to break down barriers, and there are challenges involved with that. First of all, there are uh, with the situation we have, there are just fewer women to choose from that have the long experience that, that is required. It's a smaller pool. And there are even those that suggest that women don't have the tradition of making themselves visible in the same way as, as men do. But it's also about uh, doing it differently than, than what we're used to. There is a lot of unconscious bias here where it's always easier to recruit people and, and men recruit men better. They know uh, how we behave and we fit in better and faster. But the thing is to get around that and, and make sure that people can appreciate the richness of the debate and the, and the board work that, that, that follows when you get more women on board. I think it's more that people are pretty impatient it's not happening faster. Um, I think getting enough people on board to want to really focus and energize, say, the people in this group today into just making more actions rather than just talking about it. Um, that's the big thing. Um, because I think anyone who's looked at the statistics on how companies are improved once they do have greater diversity would be poor business people unless they saw it as a real, real opportunity for them. I think although we're making very good progress, I mean we have to be aware that to continue to make progress and indeed to improve the pace of change, we have to ensure that momentum continues. And that's really the result, I think, of chairman committing to the diversity agenda, recognizing that diverse boards are good for business, not simply a corporate governance issue. And we have to keep focused on that for the progress to be maintained. But it is very worthwhile, because if we do not do this on a voluntary basis, we will find, unfortunately, I think, that we get legislation coming from Europe that enforces it. And I think that's bad for women and ultimately bad for business and should be unnecessary.